Hey guys, I'm Joey, and uh, I'll be showing you guys how to make different memory latches and different uh, gates in Minecraft. So uh, for the first one, so I already went ahead and made a world here. Now, for the first one we're going to do is called an inverter. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a block here, activated by a switch. We're going to run wiring. Actually, first let's activate that. Because what it's going to do is it's going to turn that off because it's being powered. Thus, turning off this piston. So when I turn it off, piston will activate. When I turn it on, piston will deactivate. So that is a basic. So that is a uh, basic, very basic, um, not gate or inverter. Now for the AND gates, it's a bit different. Because you're gonna have two torches, there's some torch there, so that gets powered, and then this will be your output, these two would be your inputs, is weird because it'll only work if these two switches are down. If one of them is on, it won't work. Okay. And gates are a bit weird in my opinion, but they work nonetheless. Uh memory latches or nor latches are very useful. In my opinion. Um, but the thing is, it only remembers stuff. So, it doesn't, okay, so it doesn't have much to it. So you need a reset button. So that what I made right there is just the output. This right here is the input. I believe I did that right. No, I did not. Sorry, everyone. I did that completely wrong. That's the input. No, sorry, that's the output. This is the input. And it's not working. Why are you? Hmm. It's not. If I look it up to here. You. Will you work now? Yes, there you go. Sorry about that. But there, it now works. But it's a memory latch, so you need a reset. Again, wrong. I'm being slightly off today. Don't know why. 
I know. This needs to be off. Otherwise, the signal will just continue on. Uh, there. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm just being slightly off right now. Um. So for the redstone talent challenge, you can use any of these or any other ones you know, or you can do what I call the T flip flop. Um, it's actually called the toggle flip flop. But T flip flop is just for short. And in a nutshell, it toggles between inputs and outputs. And it all varies on. Well, okay, so this would be your input. And then this would be your output. Okay. And so you would want a button for it so you can toggle it without having to turn it off after every time. I, did I? Oh, okay. No. I got it back. But, um, if you want. Oops. I broke it. Easy fix. this input will go in T for the plot will activate and it's done all right so those are the three gate okay so I showed you two gates a memory latch and a toggle now there's different variations there's more compact versions and quite honestly the only serious one you need is a T flip flop. Okay, the T flip flop is a requirement for the rest of the challenge, and I just showed you how to make it. Alright. And these can be used crazy. Like I I personally have used it for a um, for a hidden base and I have done tons of fun things with it and it's quite amazing on how it would have all of this like activate something huge and it's just amazing to me at least <laughs> that's what I think all right now uh, I hope you guys like it and yeah so continue on good sir or madam <laughs>